Okay, uh, we will solve the questions about uh, circular motion. So I advise you to open the book. Okay, uh, it is page, okay, uh, page 226. So write the date, please, and the title today is Motion in a Circle. So, Motion. in a circle. And write the date today. Today is 13. We solve the questions about the circular motion. So open your book, please, uh, your course book, page 226. So, okay, here, see the course book. Beach two hundred twenty six. Okay, now we solved together question number three. It was a homework assignment, so just open the book and open your homework and check your homework with me. This is question number three. Try to solve the question with me. I will give you here the givens of this question, but try first to solve and I help you. It said a toy train moves around a circular track of diameter. So we have here the given diameter. So the diameter equals 0 0.76 meter. We need the radius. So the radius is half the diameter. Then from this given, we can deduce that the radius equals a half the diameter or half diameter. So it's a half multiply 0 0.76. When you use the calculator, it will be 0 0.38 meter. So this is the radius. Now we continue to read the question. Completing one revolution in 12 seconds. So I said one revolution in 12 seconds. So this is the time of one revolution. It means it's a time period. Then we have also the time period denoted by T capital equals 12 second so this is a given the time period now the first part is said calculate the linear speed now we solve the first part of sama the linear speed denoted by v now which formula we use it if we have the emitter or we have the radius and we have the time then we can use the speed equals the distance over time so the distance divided by the time. For one complete revolution, but it's better okay, to draw it with a circle here. Yeah, so here. For one complete circle or one complete revolution, okay? Okay. Um, the distance here for one complete revolution is the circumference. The circumference equals the 2 by r. So this is the distance. Okay? So the distance that traveled for one complete revolution is 2 by r. And the time is the time of one revolution, which is the time period. Then we continue to solve. So the linear speed equals 2 by r divided by the time period. So it's equals 2 by multiply. The radius is 0 0.38 divided by the time for one complete revolution, which is the time period 12. When you use the calculator, the answer approximately 0 0.2 meter 
per second. Do you have any question? Okay. Is it okay, Osama? Now, can you hear me, my friend? Osama? Yes. Okay. Now, part B, we need the angular speed. So, in part B, we need omega. Omega is the angular speed equals the 2 pi over t. Why we use 2 pi over t? Because the given is the time period. Then the angular speed denoted by omega. So, omega equals 2 pi divided by 12. 2 pi divided by 12, it will be pi over 6 or 1 over 6 pi. The unit of angular speed is radian per second. How can you check the linear speed by using omega? So you can check your answer. Check your answer for uh, bar T A. We can use that V equals omega R. So V, this is bar T A, omega now, or one over six by, multiply the radius, 0 0.38, the answer will be the same as before. It is 0 0.2 meter per second. Now, Bart C said the centripetal acceleration. So in Bart C, we need the acceleration. So because we have omega, so we can say A, the, uh, the centripetal acceleration, is omega squared r. Why we use this formula? Because omega, we got it. Omega in exact value is 1 over 6 by omega squared. Multiply the radius. The radius is 0 0.38. By using the calculator, the answer approximately 0 0.10. The unit of acceleration is meter per second squared. Any question or something about this? Any doubt? Is it okay for you? Question number two? Yes. Very good. Now, read question number four and try to solve it. I give you a few seconds to solve it. Question number four. I start now. I will uh, come in a minute. I'll, I will go bring my course book fast, okay? Yes, okay, okay. Now I came back. Yes. Um, so number four, page, okay, Sam, page 226. Read the question and try to collect the givens. A stone attached to a string is moving in a horizontal circle of radius 96 centimeter. Then we have here the given, Osama, the radius R equals 96. Okay, the radius is 96 centimeter. But we have to convert to meter. From centimeter to meter. Divide 1,000. No, divided by 100. So remember, from centimeter. 2 meter divided by 100. 
then the radius equals zero point nine six meter. This is a given. It's okay. Now, the stone has mass sixty four gram. Now we have also another given the mass of the stone. I said the mass of the stone is sixty four gram, but we have to convert gram to kilogram from gram to kilogram divided by thousand. Then the mass of the stone is zero point zero six four kilogram. We continue and completes one revolution in zero point seven two seconds. So the time of one revolution, time of one revolution is zero point seven two seconds. The time of one revolution, Osama, is the time period. Then the time period here is given. The time period is zero point seven two seconds. So that are the given, the radius in meter, the mass in kilogram, and also the time period in second. Calculate the tension. So what do we need? We need the tension in the string. So the tension means what? The tension means the force. The force here denoted by F. F equals what? M, M -A. squared R. Now we need to calculate omega first. Omega is the angular speed. So omega is two by over t. Now we calculate the angular speed. So it's equals two by divided by the time period, which is 0 0.72. When you calculate this by using uh, the calculator, it will be exactly 25 over nine by in accurate value, okay? Or in exact value. Radian per second. Now we can get the tension. So the tension is the force. The force equals m omega squared r. m is the mass in kilogram, which is 0 0.064. Multiply omega squared, 25 over 9 by all squared. Multiply r, the radius is 0 0.96. By using the calculator, the answer will be 4.7 Newton. So this is the tension in the string. So the tension equals 4.7 Newton. That are the answers of question number 3 and 4 in page 226. Now, Osama, go to the end of chapter. End of topic questions, page 230. And then start to solve the question number two with me. Now, okay, we solve the questions, uh, general questions here. This is end of topic questions. Page. Two hundred and thirty. We will solve it together question number two and the question number three. Now read question number two and try to understand it. And of course, like our way, we need to write the givens. Try to solve it. <laughs> I give you a few seconds to think of it. I read the question with you. Yeah. NASA to uh, 20 G. Okay, is used for testing space. Okay. Uh, okay. The center consists of an arm of length 17.8 meter. 
This is the arm, okay? So it moves here. This is the arm. The arm is 17.8 meter. It means it is the radius. Rotating at constant speed and producing an acceleration equals 20 times the acceleration of free fall. Then we have here the radius. So the radius is given, okay? Here, the radius is given equals 17.8 meter. And also we have the centripetal acceleration. A equals 20 times the acceleration of free fall. The acceleration of free fall is 9.81 meter per second squared. Then we can say the acceleration, centripetal acceleration, then we have given here R and we have the acceleration. 20 multiply 9.81. Okay, we calculate this value, 20 multiply 9.81. Just a minute, I bring my calculator. Okay, now 20 multiply 9.81, the answer is 196.2. So the acceleration here is given 196.2 meter per second squared. Then we have given here, Osama, the radius 17.8 meter, this is given, and also the centripetal acceleration, a equals 196.2. Okay, type. Calculate the angular speed. So we need the angular speed. So in part A, we need omega. Now, which formula contains omega and acceleration? Hmm. Do you remember? A equals omega squared R. We can draw a triangle contains A, omega squared, and R by using it this way. A, omega squared, and here is R. First, we can calculate omega squared. So omega squared, this one, omega squared equals A over R. A is the acceleration the centripetal acceleration, 196.2, divided by the radius in meter 17.8. So this value, 196.2, divided by 17.8. So the answer is 11.0, approximately. 0, 2. Then omega equals a square root of 11.02. The square root of the answer. So omega equals 3.3. .3. What did they on it? Hmm? Do you remember? Radian per second. Okay, now, next part to Osama of the question. He said, the rate of rotation of the arm. So rate of rotation, it means the frequency. So it means the frequency. He said the rate of rotation of the arm, it is the frequency. How can we get the frequency from omega? We know Osama, the formula that join omega and the frequency is that omega equals two by f. Then the frequency equals omega over 2 by. Then we can calculate the frequency. The rate of rotation, it means the frequency. So the frequency equals omega. Omega is 3.3 .3 divided by 2 by. Already the answer in the calculator, right? Divided by open bracket 2 by. Close the bracket equal. 
The answer is 0.53 approximately. 0.53, we can say it is hertz. Or hertz, it means revolutions per second. Then the answer here is 0.53 revolution. Okay, revolutions per second, which is the frequency. So that is the answer of question number two, Sam. Now, my friend, try to read question number three and try to solve. I give you a few seconds, few seconds to to uh, to uh, think of that question, right? To solve the question number, okay, uh, number three. Do you have any doubt in that question, Osama? Question number two, it's okay? Yeah. Now It's fine. Very good. Now we go to the next question. Yeah. Beach. So, beach. 230 in the course book. Question number three. Try to understand the question, and of course, I will help you. Esther, I have a question. Yes, my friend. Yes, tell me. Um, how to turn kilometer to meter? Multiply by thousand. Okay. Okay. Uh, just we read the question together. Yeah. A satellite orbit the Earth 200 kilometers above its surface. Take care, my friend. Now, I will draw here the Earth. So this is the Earth. It's a big Earth. Okay, here. Look, So this is the Earth. Okay, and now, the radius of the Earth, <clears throat> we agree for that. Uh, here, the, the R, it is from the center. So always R comes from the center. So now, this is the height. Can you see here? So this is the height of satellite. So this is the height of satellite. The height here above the Earth is 200 kilometers. So the height, it's 200 kilometers. And the radius of the Earth is given. So denoted by R capital. The radius of the Earth is said 6,400 kilometers. 6,400 kilometers. Now, when we talk about R, R is the sum. R, it is from the center. Hey, Osama. So R is the distance from the center to the moving object or satellite. Then R here, Osama, is the radius of the Earth plus the height above the Earth. Then R that we calculate in circular motion here, it is 6400 plus the height, which is 200. Then it is 6600 kilometer. We convert to two meter, so it is 6600 multiply 10 power 3. In scientific notation, so... Multiply by 10 to the power of 3. Now we convert to two scientific 7, 3 significant figures. So R here, it is the distance from the center to satellite. It is 6.60 multiply 10 to the power 6 meter. So this is R that we need to use. Okay, calculate the speed of satellite. So we need the speed of satellite, so, okay? Again, he said again also, 
the acceleration toward the center of the Earth. So we have here the center beetle or the centripetal acceleration. It's a given. So given also in the question, the centripetal acceleration, which is 9.2 meter per second squared. Now we need a relation joint AR and the speed. The speed of satellite, it means we need V, linear speed. Now, how can we get V? Which formula join V, A, and R? You know that? The formula is that. A equals V squared over R. You can draw this triangle. Okay, my friend? Now, A is V squared over R. To get V, we find the first V squared. So V squared, Osama, is A multiply R. Now we can get V squared and then taking the square root to get V. So the speed of satellite or V squared first equals A is 9.2 multiplied by 6.60 multiplied 10 power 6. So the answer in the calculator multiplied by 9.2. The total answer here is 6.07 multiplied by 10 to the power 7. Take a square root of the answer. 6.07 multiplied 10 power 7. So a square root of the answer. So now this is V. The linear speed is 7.79 multiply 10 power 3 meter. Master? Yes. I got the answer when I got the V squared. I got 60 million and 72. Yes, it is the same. It is the same. Take the square root. Convert the calculator to scientific, Osama. Shift mode 73. Shift mode. Shift mode 7 3. Okay. To be scientific, okay. three significant figure. Again, Osama. Shift. I did it. 7 3. Did you get ah. the same answer? Yes. Very good. Now, this is V. If we need to convert meter to kilometer, divide by 1000. So, if we need to convert meter to kilometer, we divide by 1000. Then the speed of satellite is 7.79 kilometer. The second part of the question is said the time to complete one orbit. The time to complete one orbit, it means there's a time period. So we need the time period. Okay, to get the time period, we need omega. Because omega equals the two by over t. Now we calculate omega from V. What is the relation? V equals omega R. We draw the triangle here. V up and then omega R down. So we can get omega. So omega equals V over R. Now we continue. V already in the calculator, but in meter, not in kilometer. So it is 7.79 multiply 10 to the power 3 divided by the radius. What was the radius here? 6.6 .6 times the 10 power 6. 6.60 times the 10 power 6. So the answer in the calculator divided by open bracket 6.60 multiply 10 to the power of 6 load the bracket equal. It's 1 Point one eight multiply ten power negative three radian per second. Now we can calculate t. How can we get t? Okay, here t omega equals the two by over t. If you do cross multiplication, so t equals the two by over omega. So the time period or the time of one revolution or complete revolution is two by divided by the answer. 1.18 multiply 10 power negative 3. By using the calculator, write 2 by divided by the answer. 
it will be 5.32 multiply 10 power 3 second. This is a big number. If we need to convert second to minute, to minute, we divide by 60. So divided this answer by 60 to convert uh, second to minute. So the time period now is 88.7 minute. So this is the time to complete one orbit. So the time of one orbit to this uh, satellite is 88.7 minutes. Okay, Osama. Now we solve it in this uh, lesson. We solve it two questions, and also we solve questions at the end of topic questions. Do you understand the lesson, Osama? Okay, my friend. Now I invite you to to resolve the questions today. Resolve the same questions today. Now we finish the motion in the circle completely. Next time we starting the new topic. Okay, Osama? Okay. I hope you understand the lesson. See you next time, Osama. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah.